What it takes to be a successful dental student. Hello, my name is Dr. Herminio Perez, and I am the Director of Students and Multicultural Affairs at Rucker School of Dental Medicine. Today, I will talk to you about what it takes to be a successful dental student. I know, I know what you're thinking. You said, how come if I'm not a dental student yet? But, well, stay tuned and you will see. In order to qualify to dental school, two important aspects are taken into consideration, experiences and metrics. For example, in your experiences, we evaluate your educational background, your research experience, as well as any dental-related experience, if you have any. In regards to your metrics, we take into consideration your grades and your DAT score. DAT stands for the Dental Admission Test. That's the test that you have to take in order to apply to dental school. Let's going to talk a little bit about research experience. I have to let you know that if you got involved into a research experience, that research does not have to be dental related. You can do a research on any of the disciplines of a basic science like biochemistry, biology, microbiology. The most important thing in here is that any research that you get involved, you should like it. You should feel that it's interesting to you. The other thing is that that research should provide you the opportunity not only to participate, but to develop your critical thinking skills. Another thing that you can do is check around in your college if there is any pre-dental or pre-health uh, student organization that will help you to develop your leadership skills. Also, look in your community if there is any dentist. If there is any dentist in your community, feel free to knock at the door and ask them if you can shadow them. Also, ask them if they can be interviewed and you can ask questions like, what do you like about dentistry? What do you dislike about dentistry? Or even if you had the opportunity to go again and do it all over, would you choose dentistry as a career? Another aspect that we take into consideration are your attributes. For example, what are your skills? Do you like to do things with your hands like knitting, pottery, or painting? Do you play any instrument? Another attribute that we take very serious into consideration is your personal and professional characteristics. For example, do you conduct yourself responsibly? Many dental schools conduct criminal background checks and student disciplinary checks on applicants. Please, don't let alcohol, drugs, or, or silly pranks haunt you for the rest of your life. It can affect your professional life and professional future. Also, you should ask yourself, do I possess a strong character in terms of my academic and ethics? Are you ready to dedicate quality time? to school and your future. Probably you are thinking, why is he talking about what it takes to be a successful dental student if I'm not in dental school yet? But you know what? That's the strategy. If you can start developing skills that has helped our dental students to succeed, then you'll be working toward your success as a college student and a future dental student. I'm going to share with you our secret. For the past couple of weeks, I have spoken to many of our first-year dental students, and I asked them, what do they recommend in order to be a successful dental student? And these are the recommendations. They said, Dr. Perez, let them know that they need to be organized, that they need to be responsible, that they need to be honest, and to understand that learning takes time. Also, I would like to give you other recommendations that have played an essential role in my career. Be proactive. Being proactive means to take charge of your learning experience. Use all the tools and resources available to you. For example, if you're having trouble understanding the course material, there is nothing wrong to ask for help or for a tutor. Also, professors and classmates are a good source to ask for help. Start now. Don't wait until it's too late. The key is to take action at the moment. Be proactive. 
ask for what you need and advocate for yourself. Do your own work. Do what it takes to accomplish your goals. Don't wait for others to do it for you. Talk to your advisor, counselor, or prudential advisor for guidance and assistance. Talk to your professors. They help in answering your questions and guide you to what is important for you to learn. Also, they can be good mentors. Ask for help from your peers. If they are good people, they will help you to succeed at the same time that they will learn. Don't let your educational experience lead you. Always lead your educational experience. Always take control of, edu of your education and, and how you do that. That's the question. How I'm going to take care and lead my educational experience? Well, you have to plan ahead your next steps. What are the next courses that I'm going to be taking? Create a time frame. Create a schedule with your goals. When would you like to accomplish each one of your goals? Just plan it ahead. In the Seven Habits of the Highly Effective People, his author Stephen Covey said, begin with the end in mind. Envision your future and never lose focus of your ending goal. Keep in mind why are you doing this. That will help to keep you motivated. Also, don't be frustrated. Everybody's in the same boat. Make sure you understand your task or your role as a student. Be reasonable with your goals and break large tasks into a series of smaller ones. For example, when I was in college, I took care of one task at a time. And the only way to accomplish that successfully for me was by creating an itinerary, a schedule. Being organized is the key. Keep everything in perspective. You will make a mistake. And, and what about if you make any mistake? Just learn from it. There are times in which you have to move yourself a little bit backwards, like when you're painting a great piece of art and see it from far. You'll see things that will help you to understand why you did it and what you have to learn from it. And don't be so hard on yourself. Another piece of advice is behave like an adult student. Maturity plays a big role here. Get along with your classmates. Get to know your professors and avoid adversarial relationship with them. At the end, uh, here, uh, the, the whole entire thing is not to compete with them. Is to compete with yourself. Compete with yourself. View your grades as a constructive feedback. Test or opportunities to show the professor what you know and find out what you need to learn. This is very important. Don't forget to make a balance between life and school. Sleep, eat well, and give yourself time to enjoy friends and family. Sometimes you ask, you ask yourself, how am I going to accomplish that if I have a lot of things to do in school, right? Well, the magic word here is organization. Be organized. Create a schedule for your day-to-day -day duties or even for your, uh, for your courses. Um, it has been proved that when you are organized, you accomplish more. Take care of your health, both physically and emotionally. That is very important. Take time to do those physical activities that you enjoy the most. For example, if you like to run or jump in the rope or bike in the city or going to the movies or just doing any sport, simply takes the time to do it. And one last thing, attitudes. Attitudes are powerful. For example, if you think that you're never going to learn how to ride a bike, pretty sure you never will. But if you believe that you can learn to ride a bike, then guess what? Your behavior will match your attitude and you will do your best to learn how to ride that bike. And there is always a question, are you reaching your full potential? For you that are listening to this presentation, if you are here because you have the potential and you have to believe it. We talked already about 
what are the attributes and characteristics that made a dental student successful. Now is your time to apply it and be a successful student. My name is Dr. Herminio Perez, Director of Student and Multicultural Affairs at Rucker School of Dental Medicine in Newark, New Jersey. Please join me for a live Q&A session on April 30th from 10 to 12 and another session from 1 to 2. Thanks for listening and good luck.